Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Tuesday, July 11th. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Lawmakers in the state of Massachusetts are considering a near total ban on the buying and selling of cell phone location data in the state. This kind of information is often gathered by mobile games, delivery, weather, and other apps. And the billion-dollar market for selling it can be shadowy. Our reporter Byron Tao covers national security and law enforcement for the journal, and he joins me now. Byron, this would be the first such broad law in the U.S. What exactly would it do? So apps would still be able to collect things like location in order to deliver you food or show you the weather or send a car your way, but they would not be able to transfer that data to other parties. They couldn't trade it. They couldn't sell it. It's, a, generally speaking, a pretty expansive ban on the selling or the trading of location information on people inside the state of Massachusetts. Why is Massachusetts considering this? Well, there's been a flurry of privacy legislation in states across the country, including California, Virginia, Montana, and many others have passed state-level privacy laws in the absence of the United States Congress legislating on this. And so This proposal in Massachusetts is just another iteration of states taking the lead on privacy and looking for ways to better protect the privacy of their residents. Are there any particular reasons now that lawmakers or citizens might be worried about their location data being collected? Some of the sponsors of the bill emphasize the fact that after the Supreme Court last year struck down the national right to get abortion care, that they feared that the collection of this kind of data could allow states that have criminalized abortion to buy data on the movement of phones and look for people who have traveled out of state to have the procedure done in order to potentially investigate them or bring criminal charges. Now, we haven't actually seen that happen in practice, but it's certainly something that some of the sponsors of the bill, as well as some of the advocacy groups that are pushing the legislature to advance this bill in Massachusetts are talking about. What about the industry? How is it reacting to this proposal? A coalition of tech companies weighed in on this bill in opposition, saying that It would put Massachusetts out of step with other states that have passed similar comprehensive privacy laws. Their preferred approach is to ensure that consumers are opting into this location tracking, but not to ban it outright. And they say that this kind of data is useful for things like real estate analytics or investment decisions or targeted advertising, and that this law could put a damper on some of those very legitimate activities. And how do the backers of the bill respond to those claims? There are a lot of civil liberties groups that have said that the buying and selling of this kind of data is a backdoor way for law enforcement to potentially access it, and that generally speaking, many consumers who aren't sophisticated, who are older, who aren't tech savvy, don't always know about the settings on their phone, don't always realize what they're opting into, and that broadly speaking, there's not a lot of transparency about the flow of data from apps after it leaves a consumer's phone, and that a comprehensive law like this is necessary to protect consumers. I want to ask about that law enforcement piece, because typically when we think about the cell phone data that's being collected, we're often thinking about advertising. But how does law enforcement come into play with the purchase and use of this data? So increasingly, governments, not just the United States government, but governments all over the world, have come to realize that there's a large amount of data out there for purchase or for the taking, and that geolocation data is one kind of that data. And so we've seen entities like military commands or intelligence agencies or law enforcement agencies start to buy access to the movement of phone data. Often it's to do things like understand activity around a spot in the world, but we have seen in some cases that law enforcement is buying access 
to phone data in order to try to solve crimes or to generate leads of suspects in crimes. That kind of thing generally upends our traditional understanding of the limits that are placed on law enforcement because generally speaking, most citizens expect that for the police to track them around through their phone, they'd need a warrant. But when data is available for sale, that's not necessarily true. So advocates of this bill say it's necessary to close a loophole that's developed from the buying and selling of this kind of data. And finally, where do things stand with this proposed bill? So it's been introduced in the legislature, it's had a hearing, and one of its sponsors is actually a leader in the Massachusetts State Senate. Uh, She told us in an interview that she believes that there will be a vote on this legislation sometime this session, which runs through next year, but it is still a little bit early. All right, that's our reporter, Byron Tao. Thanks for joining us. And that's it for today's tech news briefing. For more tech stories, head over to our website, wsj.com. I'm Zoe Thomas for The Wall Street Journal. Thanks for listening.